talk about how to keep your birds from jumping the fence. And you can modify your fence and the bird, and I'll show you what I do for both. All right, so it's easier with two people, but I'm lacking help. Oh, she's... Actually, hers are already done. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, um, if they weren't already clipped, these long flight feathers, you would cut them about where they are, maybe a hair shorter. As you see, there's two rows of feathers. Let me show you on her other wing then. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here's what your normal wing looks like. So just the flight feathers are these, and you would just cut them along the end of um, the second row of feathers, because you don't want to cut them too short. There's actually blood vessels in the roots of these feathers. And also, you just do one wing, throws them off balance is the reason it works, and they will figure it out sometimes and overcome it, but it does make it much more difficult for them to fly. And don't do this if it's your kid's 4-H show bird. They will get knocked down if you've altered the bird. So this is another thing I've done to keep the birds from jumping the fence. And these are just old pieces of tent pole that I've used, but you can also buy um, tractor supply cells, like little pieces of fence poles that are just over a dollar each if you can't scrounge garbage. And then I had this wire, but you can also cut chicken wire and just put like another row on top of your chain link so they can't come and jump up on the bar and then jump over. It works as a pretty good deterrent and I've done it with mostly garbage I had laying around so it was cost effective. And it's not horribly noticeable from a distance. Like in general people aren't going to see it and think it looks hideous. It's kind of hidden. So here's the section I've done with um, strips of chicken wire. And you can use just pieces of wire, but it works much better if you have something solid, like chicken wire. And I angle it in, just kind of thread it through the chain link in your fence. And it works really well. And this is the fencing pieces. It's actually for electric fence that I bought at Tractor Supply. I want to say it was between one and two dollars a piece. So and they're actually kind of tall, but those work too if you can't find stuff to use otherwise. So I have this fence between our house backyard and the chicken's yard, and they will jump it, but they don't seem to be interested in going beyond the house for whatever reason. So I don't worry about the few times, and they mostly hang out still in their area in the back backyard. So I don't worry about them jumping this fence so much. I just don't want them in the neighbor's yard getting eaten by the dog or doing things they shouldn't. So that's what I do to keep my birds contained and I'm very happy with it.